إله الرحيم Don't you know, I never did find that leather man in the Maybe we'll hear Kabiha play. What? تذهب إلى القريعة أشكرك لا يبدو ذلك آمنا The Bimaristan, where the best healers in Baghdad gather. Finding Dr. Hassan should lead me to Ahmed. I need to find a way into Dr. Hassan's office. I 
سرم پیدا کردم
This letter proves it. Hassan is neck deep in the order. The symbol of the Order. This all but proves that Dr. Hassan is one of them. Some scholars from the House of Wisdom got burned trying to save the books. We need that room for the patients. No, that's Dr. Hassan's private laboratory. It's locked. No one must go inside. So we just leave the burned victims outside? Will someone answer me? Please, use your indoor voice. You're upsetting the patients. Dr. Hassan keeps his laboratory locked up. I wonder why.
us a leap to his uh There is nothing wrong with my methods, only the mechanism itself. It needs more subjects, more work. I certainly do not need some useless inventor meddling with the... The doctor is dead. Now to find Ahmed and solve this bloody mystery. Basim, what happened here? Where were you, Ahmed? I was around. I'm always around. Would you tell me what happened? Are you aware this man works for the Order? He called on me a few weeks ago after they found something in the desert. An ancient mechanism of some sort. They needed me to- And you asked no questions. I never ask questions when it comes to work. Do you? Tell me about this mechanism. It opens a path in the mind, a path to the ancient world. This mechanism somehow seems to open the doors of perception. Have you seen this for yourself? No, but I heard the stories of those who have. They are lost, Basim because they think what they saw is reality. They think they belong to this ancient world. I knew nothing about the Order being involved. If I did, I would have come to you. I just... I got caught up. You know me. You know me, Basim. You will leave this place and return to the Bureau. I will not tell a soul if you do not. How shameful it is that knowledge always ends up in the wrong hands, isn't it, Basim? I do not care for these diagrams.
Greetings. Nice to see you. Have you any new tools for me? Here's what I have. Nothing else? I would like to borrow your wisdom a moment. Be my guest. Is that it? Remarkable. My thanks, friend. Farewell. Basim! Join me on the roof! فلتصحبك السلامة في رحلتك. Basim! <laughs> I knew it was you. You are not the only one with eyes that see afar. So, Tabed, you have filled the streets with eyes and spies. Such is the life of a Rafiq. Without my knowledge, eh, where would we be? Knowledge is a tool, a weapon. It can be used for good or ill. And the Order is using it for ill indeed. What have you learned? Rot runs deep through the House of Wisdom. They are using some ancient book, hoping to build a wicked device. Mm. I have heard rumors of this blasphemous contraption. They call it their great work. The Order is experimenting on people. Lethally. I have stopped them for now. But someone called El Rabisu is running things at the House of Wisdom. Any idea about who this Rabisu character could be? I have my suspicions about the great scholar, Fazil Fahim. That fragile old man? The clues I have gathered tell me so. Hmm. It could be. The House of Wisdom will be hosting a great symposium soon. An informal gathering of scholars. A lecture, refreshments, chatter. Even the great Arib will attend. Go! Spy out this puzzle with care. But do not throw your blade at the symposium. We don't want to show our hand just yet. Hmm. But if Fazil is guilty and alone, then like a viper, strike. But you must be sure. Before I act, I will be sure. Poor likeness. Go away. Ah. 
I need to get rid of these. You want to Hello. Well met. May I see your wares? Please have a look around. I always try to keep those in stock. Yes, all right. Going to enhance your gear? These are always handy. Got what you needed. I have to go. Farewell then. The symposium should be here. Baghdad's brightest, sharing their wisdom. Ooh, I've bought some of those pale, long hair. Pardon me. I am looking for the great scholar's lecture. Basil Fahim's lecture about the antediluvian antecedents of humanity will begin soon. In the meantime, please enjoy our ample stock of exquisite delicacies and tasty refreshments. Where is Arib al Ma'muniya, the poet? Where is Arim? I hope to catch a whiff of her magnificent aura. So rare to see her outside of the round city. The beloved is in the garden, ruminating upon the perfection of nature. Oh, to be a flower held in her discerning hands, inspiring such languid verse. She must be relieved to be free of her wealthy patrons for a change. Oh! Perhaps she leads an exciting, secret double life. 
slipping out of the palaces to find inspiration in common life. <laughs> I doubt it. I told you I'd see you around. Indeed. And what brings you back? I want to show you something. <laughs> These House of Wisdom boars collect the wildest trinkets and gadgets. I have been here before, Nihal. This is Ahmad ibn Musa's office. Have you been sneaking in there? Ahmed and his brothers are capable of designing some fantastic devices. Not all of his ideas are that practical, I'm afraid. Don't be so smug. The world is full of wonders. Does this remind you of your nightmares? No. More like something from the Bimaristan. Or a training chart of the Hidden Ones. Ah, yes. The swift ways to kill silently. Death in seconds. It gives me a tingle down my spine. Like I'm nearing a cosmic secret. You read too much about magicians and lost cities buried beneath the dunes. You don't read enough. Perhaps there are other worlds, other people, out among the stars. Nonsense. This. I have seen this one before. Is this what you wanted to show me? Yes. It reminded me of that object we found at the palace. What is it? A drawing from an ancient book. There is something you are not telling me. You do not want to know what happens behind closed doors. Why? Because you do not know either? Because, as Dirwish says, sometimes it is better not to know the truth behind the things we must do. The truth, Basim, is that everything is here in front of you. 
but you refuse to look at it. This is about you. It has always been about you, ever since that night. I took an oath, Mihal, to leave my old life behind and walk this path of shadows. And maybe someday you will find the light. But until then, I will walk behind you every step of the way to remind you not to forget who you are. Is that a threat? I do not know. my weapons again if needed. What do you see? I better not use my weapons here. There is that poet the bid loves, whose work keeps turning up in unexpected places. Spirit of the sands. Pilot of desert ships. From distant lands bring to our ears. From your wind-touched lips. The Mirage's song. The kiss that great. Yes? Symmetry of sky and sea. But only in thine eye do these two planes meet. You have read my work. And who might you be? A lover of poetry, nothing more. And of order. Or should I say, chaos? I know only one living poet who loves chaos that much. Ali ibn Muhammad. Are you a fan of his pedestrian work? The rivalry between you two is legendary. It enhances the craft. I cannot choose. You are most diplomatic. But I would rather seek inspiration among these lovely blooms. Good day.
translator. What is he still doing here? Hunain, you should not be back so soon. I know. I'm still nervous, but I couldn't stay away from my books. I guess we must always do our duty. Well done. The great scholar's lecture will begin after a short delay. Meanwhile, enjoy our bounteous snacks and the sparkling wit of your fellow guests. Pardon me. The lecture will begin soon. Please, amuse yourself with the other guests until the gong summons you. That astronomer might be one of them, though I doubt it. Sayyidi, I am honored to make your acquaintance. Good to see more young people enjoying the House of Wisdom. Do you think the great scholar will give a good lecture? Do not waste time listening to his nonsense. I have written many more edifying and practical books instead. On which topics? I have written extensively about sundials, astrolabs, stars and planets, and the circumference of the Earth. Fascinating, Sayyidi. I shall read more of your work soon. Wadaan. Sounds like the lecture is about to begin. I should return to the Kahreman. Pardon me. Is Fazel Fahim's lecture ready to begin? Indeed it is. Head inside if you please. Welcome, one and all, to the House of Wisdom, center of learning in Baghdad, indeed, of the entire world. I am Fazil Fahim al Kimsa, first scholar of the House of Wisdom, wisest of the wise. Today, I will shock you with what may sound like outrageous blasphemies. <laughs> Do not fear, good people. Though I am old, my mind remains sharp as steel. Today I speak of mysteries, of creatures from the antediluvian age. Do not the ancient prophets tell us about giants from before the flood? who forsook Allah and worshipped false idols? Is it not possible these giants built marvels, works of wondrous power? Now listen to us. Zahra and Hassan are both dead, slain by an assassin's blade. They are dead. Sayyidi, I urge you to hide until it's safe. Uh, uh, apologies, people, but our lecture has concluded. Please, Feel free to explore the House of Wisdom's many fine chambers. You call yourself the Great Scholar, Fazil. You who burn books and hope the smoke will hide your crimes. How many did you sacrifice in your search for knowledge? How many did you use, damage, and discard in the name of discovery? Now you hide within the House of Wisdom. The house you led astray. But I will find you. And I will exact justice for every soul you savaged for your great work. <laughs> 